Alrighty, good evening, uh, YouTube. Uh, this is Hajim Zero here, back with another uh, movie review. Um, this one's kind of a somewhat of a TV review too. When I did more research on this particular series, um, so uh, this is a Total Recall, uh, uh, 2070. Um, it's somewhat. It's kind of weird to say this. It picks up a little bit on the concept of the original Total Recall, but of course Arnold Schwarzenegger is not in it. So, um, but they did still have the concept with you know um, playing with the uh, you know uh, with the whole recall. You know, you pay for the ultimate experience of the vacation. The difference with this, unlike the movie, is that. Um, it has a little bit of Blade Runner mixed in it. There are a couple of androids um, in this. And it was kind of like uh, them being programmed with a consciousness. And it's a little bit of iRobot. It's uh, the main character trying to solve a whole murder plot. And um, it was very, very unusual. That's pretty much the whole thing of the, of the movie slash TV uh, uh, episodes. And I say that because there are two versions of this. Um, this is actually a TV series that aired... I, I think on Showtime, well, no, I take that back. I think it aired on regular TV and then the uncut version had aired on, on Showtime. So um, I'm going to talk about the original uncut version first. I think this was shot in, in Canada. I, I vaguely remember looking online. And I know for a fact that uh, these, uh, they're the two episodes that appeared in America, um, I think over in Canada or on Showtime, it was actually one movie and one episode and or one segment. And this is what this one pretty much is. Uh, again, I didn't know it was it wasn't a uh, TV show until until then. But this does plays both parts and it does resolve the whole thing. Um, I couldn't catch where they had cut or edit, you know, the part where they put in, you know, um, the whole to be continued slot. Uh, the reason why it's uncut, of course, um, I think there was more language in uncut version and it was more nudity. Um, there was a scene where a chick was topless and this is, that's pretty much it. You know, it didn't go all hardcore with it. Uh, but, um, it was just, it kind of threw me off. I was like, oh shit, you know, this aired on TV, but, uh, you go, you know, you got topless women. So I was like, uh, how did that happen? But, um. I think the main detective named Nick, I can't remember the actor's name. I've seen him before, but he's been on those daytime soap operas before. Um, so was his, uh, was it his, um, his detective, uh, no, his, uh, his boss, his chief, uh, he's actually in Blade Trinity as well as, as a FBI de detective. I might bring him up again, um. And the other known actor uh, in this, uh, he was in um, Resident Evil, Wanted, and uh, I believe another movie. Um, I can't remember his name, but you definitely know who he who he might be when I start describing him. Um, if you've seen Resident Evil Apocalypse, he was that main scientist that got eaten at the end um, by uh, the one that tried to shoot himself. <sighs> Excuse me, but um, I'm trying to think of, of more words to describe it. Uh, he was that that main umbrella operative. He wasn't anybody from the game. You know, you can somewhat say he could have been like Oswald Spencer if you played the game or something like that. But you see his face. He's in a lot of scenes. He was the one that tried to get Alice to fight the nemesis, and she didn't want to, and gave her the whole you know, Cali sticks to fight him back, you know, for so-called testing. But uh, his most notable role, um, he was um, Wesley's father and wanted the one uh, apparently who was trying to kill him. But then he found out, you know, spoiler alert, that he was really his dad. Um, but he is a good actor uh, seeing him in both movies. Um, he can play both the good guy and bad guy. I'm trying to think of that other third movie I said that he was in, and I can't even remember, you know, what I said. But um, he had a very good, poignant voice about him too. Uh, I liked him better on Wanted than I did on anything else. You know, he really played that, you know, that somewhat 
anti-hero good guy slash bad guy if you want to call it um if you play the game of course he has a lot of dialogue scenes in that um wants the video game but um pretty much this is a very interesting concept it, it reminded me more of blade runner a little bit you know with that whole idea you know what is consciousness that consciousness how is it programmed and even one of the scenes where the android had had jumped off and killed himself one of the characters that asked, why did he do that? And I was like, I guess to feel more human. And um, only difference, of course, they weren't, you know, replicants or it definitely didn't play on the fact if someone was human or Android or not, even though it, it kind of did borrow a cue a little bit from um, Alien when that one character was finally revealed to be an a Android. And it, they did the same trope on this one. The only difference was that the Android was more like C-3PO. He wasn't, uh, he, he wasn't a homicidal maniac or, you know, he didn't give a bunch of expedition when he had died, you know, or something bad happened. So, um, you know, on a scale of one to 10, I give the movie pretty much like a C minus, you know, it's just the fact that, you know, I wanted more attachment to the movie. And of course the way the movie was shot, it was, you can tell it was low budget, you know, so, it was it was made in like the late nineties, so I, you can't really, you know, push that much judgment on it. You know, these actors that did these certain roles just to get paid, so I, I can't hate them on it. You know, it's either that or doing something degrading that you don't want to do in X, Y, and Z. But um, pretty much, uh, like I said, a C minus. You know, most of the movies that I review, if I go into deep, deep detail. Most likely the movie, you know, I highly recommend or it's a good, decent watch. You know, like the last one, um, what was I, was this, uh, Fortress, I pretty much called, give that a B minus just because it reflected a lot of what's going on now, especially, you know, with our prison system. But, um, this one had, it was much more of like the murder mystery and of course putting the pieces on, you know, old technology from the past and, you know, consciousness and all this, that, and the other. Another good concept of what they did on this, I think a child had went to the recall program in 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 this and um something happened with his brain function and he got telepathic powers. Um I don't he wasn't moving anything with his mind, but he can like per see into people's um thoughts. Yeah. I think I think that's yeah, that that that's what it was. He can read people's minds, you know, so he can really it was kind of like um, the best way I can describe it. It's kind of like a, a like two level notches down from Professor Xavier from the X Men. You know, with him, he could do a lot of with his psychic abilities, but you know, he couldn't really move. Actually, I think he could telepath. No, nah, he couldn't. He can control other people to, if they had psychic powers and, and to move using theirs. But pretty much, the kid could only read read minds. Um, you know, uh, they had much more futuristic weapons in this, I believe. I think in the original Total Recall, I think it was a mix between past and, and, and future. And, of course, they were on Mars, you know, on this. They were going to other planets as, as well. But, of course, we didn't see massive exploration. You know, like, if they're on Mars, you, you didn't see the atmosphere. It, it They tried to hide it as much as being inside of a building so you couldn't see the outside. So, um... Other than that, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, I believe the next movie I am going to review, I know it's not Convict 762. I know that's the next one after the one I'm thinking of. Damn, what is that other one? Oh, well, you guys will know. Um, I can't think of it at the time. I'll be sitting here for a good three minutes trying to, um, oh, it's Cypher with Lucy Lou. Ha, <laughs> it's funny. But um, yeah, I will see you guys on the next review, which is Cypher, and I will talk to you later. Peace.